What's good, YouTube? You already know what we're doing, what it is. Got a couple of hats on deck from Liz.com. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to call this another uh, vault drop because you already know I have a lot of hats that come in. A lot of them I don't get to get to. And then sometimes when I order newer hats, those get bumped to the front of the line. I know you guys heard me say that before. So I'm going to call this uh, from the vault. This is one I had, but didn't get to get to it. So I just literally grab a box and then we get into it. Could be one hat, could be two hats, but usually I order my hats two at a time, not one at a time, or it'd be two separate boxes. And this one is one, so let me believe there's two hats in it. So like I said, we're gonna get right into it, man. Stay tuned, let's go. All right, like I said, we're gonna get into one of my older pickups. And uh, pretty sure we pull the invoice out, we'll be able to see the date on it. So it'll be a surprise for everybody. We can actually see how long ago this was. This one was actually bought. So, uh, quick. And of course, as I expected, there are two hats. Um, clear plastic bag that they put them in. This is probably expired. $15 off, your $50 purchase. Seems like they always give the same sale and they're not really good. I mean, sometimes you can hit a real good sale on this, but then it seems like they kind of sort of push the same ones, which really aren't that good by the time you either use like your premium discount or just a regular sale they have. You really don't tend to save that much. So, but anyway, yeah, everybody I'm pretty sure that buys some lids gets these. And as I imagine, very much expired. So, uh, oh yeah, this is way back. Here, let me see if I can fold this back without giving too much away. We got paid. Oh yeah, we'll just fold it back so you can see the date on it. You can read up there, see if we can get that in focus. September. So this is a September pickup that we're doing in December. Literally, uh, me trying to put this out the way I want to, this is like a week before Christmas. So uh, yeah, you can see how deep the vault actually goes. So now you know what I'm talking about. But let's get into the pickup besides that. Damn, September. I don't know if these came out in September or I just bought them in September. But yeah, September and it's December. So go figure. All right. Okay, they put them in one big plastic bag, but they got them individually wrapped. So I'll start with this one. Okay. Let's see the bag it came in. Now this, okay, this I'm a little upset about. I've never seen this happen, but they stick the name of what it is actually on my hat. Definitely not happy with that. Don't like that. But anyway, for the most part, we have Washington Senators MLB Leather um, ultimate patch collection because um, as they said um, this leather ultimate patch edition because if you notice a lot of the trim on the hat is trimmed in leather so that is what made me pick this one up because I can honestly say I didn't have any hats that came from the ultimate patch collection portion of the leather version of course I got a lot of ultimate patch collections but these two pickups which come from the same collection are with the leather trim and this one is from the Washington Senators I guess a uh, more of like a throwback team or alternate team like I said, I'm not a fan of baseball but I'm figuring it must be a throwback team or what the team used to be named because now the only team I know that's Washington is the national so but as you see like I said that down the leather and here's your ultimate patch leather portion of the hat right there as you see says Washington Senators Griffin Stadium Washington DC American League for the leather portion of the hat. Then of course, again, on the back, you have the MLB logo, which is trimmed in leather. And then of course, of course, you have your new era flag that's trimmed in leather. So that's what turned me on to this caps actually, cause it's different. Um, it has the leather outlining on it and it goes with the hat as far as with the hat color. It's kind of more of like a, like a, a like a cargo feel, like if you had like a, a burlap sack kind of look, you know what I mean? And then it fits with the leather trimmings all around it. Then of course you got your price tag and your emblem. 
Then, of course, you got your on the bottom, you got your Cooperstown collection, you got your new era. Of course, you got your size eight. I kind of figured that they would have put something in here that had an adage to them using the leather on it. But I guess um, you can pretty much say on the size eight decal, it just says Ultimate Patch Collection. It really just doesn't say leather. It's just in more so of the description on the bag. But, I mean, with that being said, it's still a nice cap the way it turned out. Because, I mean, the colors, the colors, it just fits. You know what I mean? Because, of course, like I said, the burlap sap look on the hat and with all the leather trimming. So, yeah, this one's not bad. It actually fits. This one, they got the bill sitting really high, though, if you notice that. Look at the bill. See how it, like, it tends to tip up? Now, I know some people wear this like that, but I kind of want mine more of a flat level like you see the one I got on. But some hats do come like that, you know what I mean? Probably just the way they ship or just the way they're boxed up when they ship it. But, um, and on to the next one, I have a lot of these, but again, this one's different. As when I say a lot of, I mean team description wise. And next we have Boston Red Sox. Now, the funny thing about this is, I mean, it's the Red Sox, but as far as the color, um, as you notice, of course, it's in navy blue, which, I mean, of course, they're the red socks. You can find a lot of them with the red B, but, you know, maybe they just decided to put this one in blue. But, and again, as you see, with that leather trimming, you really can't beat that. I mean, to me, I think this is one of the more nicer, casual-looking collections where um, if you're dressing down and you're not just, you're not casual, but semi-casual. Don't want to say business casual, but just on a semi-casual, you know, collar shirt, something like that. And I'm pretty sure with this kind of color, where you can tell this will really set off some Timberland boots, which is the reason why I bought it, to go with my Timberland boots, you know what I mean? Because it is wintertime, you know, you wear your boots a lot more in the wintertime. So, and that, that leather trim is going to go right with that. So, as you see, you got the leather trim around the B. Got your size A Ultimate Patch Collection sticker. I'm gonna get it opened up, and of course, just like the same, you know, on the other hat, got your leather um, new era outline on one side, and the only difference, of course, will be all of them came with different patches on the side. As far as this one, and you got your regular socks logo hanging right there with the Boston above it, with the Fenway Park in the background. This to me is one of the more nicer leather patches. Which, when I chose these hats, I did look at, um, you know, on Liz, you can, you know, 360 the hat pretty much. And I looked at the logos also. Because like I said, the big thing with me, I don't necessarily buy hats just because they're new releases. They got to look good. And they got to be able to transpire to a lot of things I have to go with it. Because you can buy a new release hat. Now, I have bought hats that I may not wear, but that I just wanted for my collection. Because it would probably be hard for me to get. I do do that. But every new release that comes out, some of them I do pass on. Just like shoes. I mean, because some of them... They just don't look good into how I rock, basically. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not just going to buy a hat because it just came out and I want it. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, some may just buy it just to review it. And I mean, I could do that, but what would be the point if I'm not wearing it? You know what I mean? At some point, I got to wear it unless I just want it for the collection. And if I just want it for the collection, it has to look good. You know what I mean? It has to look good to where I want it to sit. You know what I mean? Just like a lot of people have kicks that they probably wouldn't wear normally on an everyday basis or even a once in a while basis. But it has to be good enough to where you want to incline and spend your money on it just to say you have it. And to me, the same coincides with hats. I mean, hats are a lot cheaper, but I mean, at some point they have to serve some kind of purpose. But that's just my insight on that. But uh, here we go. Like I said, Ultimate Patch Collection. Um... I want to say the full description, it just says MLB Leather. So I'll just say Ultimate Patch Leather Collection, Boston Red Sox, Washington Senators. Those are the two pickups for the day. In my opinion, not bad. Like I said, if, you, if you're a guy who has some Tims in your collection and you do rock your Tims in the wintertime or however or whenever you rock them, these are not bad joints to have, man. You know what I'm saying? Trimmed in that leather. That's gonna turn out real good in my opinion. I like how these turned out. One of the one of the fewer collections that Liz released, I definitely give the double thumbs up on them. Definitely want to pick up one thing from that collection at some point. But that's the video for the day, man. You already know. Oh, and stand by. I'm gonna try to release one more video after this one. Like I said, it's the week before Christmas. I, I got something special coming in, and hopefully they both hit at the same time. 
and then I'll finally be able to do my version of my, my fitted in kicks video. Uh, cause I really don't want to show stuff I already have, which I could as far as my kicks that I already have to go with a lot of my fitters. But since I have a fitted coming in with this pair of kicks particularly that I'm coming in, I'm going to try to do them together. And hopefully I can get that video out by Christmas Eve, so it'll be a holiday of vision. Sorry about that. You know how that goes. Got a call again. So I'm going to hurry up and wrap this up. But anyway, hopefully I can get that video out by uh, Christmas Eve. First edition of the Fitting and Kicks video. So look out for that. I'm going to go ahead and get this out now for you guys. So let me know what you think down below as far as the pickup. And if you were able to pick up anything from this collection. As far as the um, Ultimate Patch uh, Leather Collection. Let me know what y'all think down below, man. I'm going to see y'all on the next video. I'm going to get out of here before I get a couple of more phone calls. All right, y'all.